Hello, this is Abby with Design Point. I'm an application engineer here. This video is meant for users that are used to modeling within the 2D environment and are now looking to experiment modeling in the 3D environment. So pulled up in SolidWorks, I have a drawing of a simple bracket. I've got my 3D isometric view here, and I have two 2D drawings, a front and a right view of the drawing. So I actually didn't have to do any manual drawing to get these views at all, and you'll see how I did that. So when you're modeling in SolidWorks, you can think of it as just as you would in 2D drawing. So you create a profile, in this case is shaped like an L, and once you have created that profile, you extrude it out to a certain length. So in this case, we show that in the right view here. So getting back to how I can easily create these drawing views on the drawing sheet, all I have to do is just create a projected view within SolidWorks. So I'm gonna right click on my front view and select projected view. And when I drag my cursor around, it automatically populates the other views for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the top view in there. And from here, I can start to dimension off of this. And it already knows those values for me. In addition to dimensions, I can easily create center marks for my holes and even a center line for the entire top view. So now the question is, how is all of this possible? It's all because of the 3D model. So let's take a look at that. So here's my 3D model. And I'm going to take a look at the view cube. You can see there's a bunch of preset views here. And when I hover over each one of them, it gives me a preview of what that view is going to look like. So I'm going to click on the front view, and you can see it's the same front view that I had in my drawing. Same with the right view, and finally the top view I just created. So now you're saying, that's great, there's a bunch of preset views really easy to put in there, but what if there's a view that's not preset that I need to, to create within my SOLIDWORKS drawing? That's also very easy. I don't have to do any redrawing of the part. I'm going to show you how to do that in the next video.